Well, for more on President Trump's address to the UN General Assembly, I'm joined now by Holly Dagres of the Atlantic Council. Well, good evening to you. Thanks so much for joining us on the programme. Well, we just heard Donald Trump there talking of bloodlust as he kind of laid into Iran. But a few moments later, he was talking about the possibility of embracing friendship. So would that indicate that the door to diplomacy with Iran is still open? Well, U.S. President Donald Trump never said he would not sit down with Iran. He merely said that he would not remove sanctions. And that is actually what the Iranians have been arguing for. Their precondition for talks is that the United States remove these sanctions that were imposed when the U.S. decided to withdraw from the multi multilateral agreement known as the Iran nuclear agreement in May 2018. And so for him, it, it, it seems that he's still very much open to this idea of negotiating with the Iranians. He never says he isn't going to. And it, it, it's something that we've been hearing from the past few months from his administration, that he would be willing to talk to the Iranians, although he was at the time saying with no preconditions, though these Aramco attacks have kind of changed this idea of what that would entail. Oh, OK, well, if he's more open to talks, then he's also threatening imposing yet more sanctions. Uh, do you think that's going to bring the Iranians to the table, given what you've just said? Well, I, I think you raise a valid point, but um, it's also worth noting there's really not much left to sanctions, despite the fact that Trump did announce sanctions on Iran's central bank. It already was sanctioned. What he was essentially putting these sanctions on was the ability for Iran to conduct humanitarian trade, for it to buy medicines and humanitarian goods to help the Iranian people. So I think that, if, if anything, was very counterproductive, and it didn't really add to the the variety of U.S. sanctions that have been imposed since the May 2018 um, U.S. withdrawal. But the Iranians are saying that as long as Trump continues to impose these sanctions, there's no possibility that these talks are going to happen. And if Trump sees that this is the only way that he's going to get a deal out of Iran, I think this is actually something dangerous because the Iranians feel that there's some, there's not much to lose. They um, feel that there's an, Iran, an oil embargo being imposed on their country and that they are essentially under economic warfare and that they're going to have to keep pushing back on the U.S. pressure in order to have their voices heard and for something to change. OK, so Iran feeling that it's uh, pushed into a corner. Well, Holly Dagris of the Atlantic Council, thanks so much for coming on the programme.